Expect more. This is Channel 6 News at 5. Good evening, thank you for joining us. I'm Doug Curran. And I'm Leslie Draffin. We begin tonight in Temple where a public memorial is being held for the four-year-old girl who was killed by a houseboat at Temple Lake Park last week. Since Caitlin Oliver's death, there has been an outpouring of support for her family. Channel 6 News reporter Chris Rogers joins us live from Temple Bible Church. And Chris, I'm sure this has to be an emotional day for the entire community. Well, Doug Leslie, it certainly has been. It's been a little less than a week than four year old Caitlin Oliver and her father Patrick were in the water at Temple Lake Park when a houseboat backed into them, killing four year old Caitlin and severely injuring her father. Now, the driver of that houseboat has since been charged in connection to her death, but for friends and this community of little Caitlin Oliver, that tragic loss has left a gaping hole in their lives. Today, friends and family of Caitlin are gathering here at the Temple Bible Church for a public viewing to honor her life and to offer condolences to a family who lost their little girl. Support has poured in from around the community and a crowdfunding account that was set up to help with Patrick Oliver's medical costs continues to receive donations on a daily basis. Today's memorial was graciously covered by Crotty Funeral Home out of Belton. It was a decision that was an easy one for co-owner Jarrah Crotty and her mother. They say they felt a connection to the family and as mothers themselves, this particular tragedy hit close to home. I think as a community we all could relate. We all have our children at the lake. That's uh, something we all do. Um, so it's been very difficult because we could all see ourselves in the same position. And I think that's what got the community to come together so much for her is because it could have been, been any one of our children that this could have happened to. Now, Doug Leslie, I did speak to Caitlin's family briefly off camera. They have asked for their privacy at this very incredibly difficult time for them. As you can imagine, they are mourning. They want their privacy in that morning. But there is still time to come out and pay your respects to Caitlin. This viewing will go on until 7 p.m. tonight. If you want to offer condolences to the family, if you want to respect the life of this little girl who was gone too soon. We'll have more on this story coming up tonight at 6 and 10. For now, live in Temple tonight, I'm Chris Rogers, Channel 6 News. Doug Leslie, back to you. All right, thanks, Chris. Now let's get a first.